Welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got some juicy financial details that might just change the way you look at footwear forever. That's right, we're diving into the world of Crocs not just those comfy shoes, but the stock, ticker symbol CROX. So, grab your popcorn, hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. First up, let's talk about some key financial metrics. Crocs has a price-to-earnings ratio of 9.52, which is lower than its 5-year average of 15.86. But wait, there's more. The forward-looking PR is an even more impressive 8.75, signaling potential undervaluation when you compare to his 5-years average. Now let's zoom in on growth potential with the price-to-earnings growth ratio or PG at a cool 0.95. Anything below one suggests that the stock might be undervalued relative to its growth prospects. The return on equity is a jaw-dropping 73.92%, and the return on assets stands at a healthy 14.83%. These figures indicate that Crocs is not just a comfortable shoe, but also a robust performer in the market. And an excellent company that knows how to convert shareholders' equity and company assets into earnings. Speaking about earnings, the earnings per share or EPS is at $10.86, and the projected EPS growth over the next five years is a solid 10%. Looks like Crocs is stepping confidently into the future. Now, let's check out the corporate strategy Crocs isn't just walking the walk. They're reinvesting all their earnings back into the company to keep the growth momentum alive. No dividends here, folks. They're all in for expansion. Financial health check. Operating margin is a sturdy 26.66%, and profit margin is a respectable 17.14%. Crocs is keeping its financial feet firmly on the ground. Over the last eight years, Crocs has been on a rocket ride of revenue and earnings growth. This success story has translated into a higher total return than VO, Vanguard S&P 500 ETF, over the last five years. If you invested in Crocs, you'd probably be smiling right now. Debt-wise, the debt-to-equity ratio is 1.91, and the long-term debt-to-equity is 1.84. They've got a bit of debt, but it seems manageable for this trendsetter. In the last 52 weeks, the average price return is minus 18.66%. But hey, every stock has its ups and downs, right? Zooming out to the big picture, Crocs boasts a market cap of $6.26 billion making it a significant player in the market. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for the crystal ball predictions. Analysts foresee a $125 price target in the next 12 months, signaling a potential upside of 20.9%. But hold on, I've got my own crystal ball, and I'm seeing a fair value of $192.30 for Crocs. That's not just above the analyst's prediction but also above the current price suggesting there might be some undervaluation happening here. So, there you have it, folks the financial rundown on Crocs. Will this shoe sensation continue to dazzle on the stock market? Only time will tell. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your investor friends, and hit that bell icon for more finance deep dives. Until next time, happy investing!